Today we're chatting with painter Barbara Sutherland. Barbara has competed several times at the Art Battle in Brantford at the Rope Factory Hall in our town. And her paintings include nature, wildlife, still life. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for having me. Barbara, can you tell us a bit about how you began to pursue painting? I can. Uh, does finger painting count? <laughs> yes. Yeah. <laughs> I started that when I was very young. Um, I must say that it was when I was in my teens and, uh, you know, we didn't have paints in the house, but we did have house paint and we did have plywood. And uh, that's basically how I started with my, my uh, foray into art. Um, as I grew older and in my 20s, I um, I was nursing, um, I was nursing up at uh, Pembroke General Hospital and uh, on the days off I was studying at uh, University of Ottawa to, uh, to study art history and then moved to Toronto and, and uh, the rest is history really because I never stopped painting after that. Barbara, um, how have you felt encouraged by the Brantford community? Mm -hmm. um, like the arts community here? Hmm. That's a good question. Uh, I moved here three years ago and uh, before moving here I explored Brantford and found Glenhurst Gallery which is such a gem in the middle of the city and uh, the programs that they had they were offering and also discovered the Brant Visual Artists Guild and uh, have since become a member of that guild and have met you know, over 40 marvelous artists in Brantford. For uh, our upcoming event, uh, Brantford Presents Take Three, which is happening on May 22nd, uh, the show is going to open up with you and a blank canvas, and then you're going to begin to paint, paint and then we'll check back with you throughout the show. Um, what kind of challenges come with having a time limitation and a goal uh, in mind when you're doing a painting? Because I'm assuming that's not normally how you put together a painting. <laughs> no, it's not normal at all, Martin. <laughs> uh, <laughs> when we're uh, at art battle or under any other pressure, uh, you have to think about, you, you can't come to the canvas blankly, really. You have to have something in mind. Um, you also have to have your color palette in mind so you can pick your colors wisely and uh, then keep in mind that you have sometimes only 20 minutes to complete a, a painting and uh, you know you get caught up in the energy of all of that and uh, the rest just comes together. <laughs> Great and do you have any favorite subjects that you like to paint that you come back to? I always come back to wildlife. I always come back to, to forests or moving water. Um, I particularly like painting owls and sheep, um, as well as, you know, birch trees. Um, there's usually a birch tree somewhere in one of my paintings. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Barbara, how has the lockdown uh, affected you and your art? Mm. Another good question. You know, artists are always looking for time. We always wish we had more time to paint. And now we have all the time in the world. And from my artist friends, I'm hearing the same thing. Um, we're not painting as much as we think we would. And I, <laughs> and I know, I know, now I know why. Uh, we're all missing each other. We're missing the stimulation of conversation, of sitting down with coffee and talking about paint, um, going to the galleries, just associating with one another. And it's, it's, um, it's become a vacuum for each one of us to, to live in as with everyone else. And it's, it's, it's not what you would think that artists are, are painting all day long. No, we're not. No, we're not. <laughs> Uh, Barbara, now that you've been here for a few years in Brantford, are there some local artists that you've gotten to know um, mm -hmm. that you admire, either as a person, but also perhaps their artwork? I've met many, as again, through the uh, Brant Visual Arts Guild. Um, 
I've met so many fantastic artists, it would be hard to name them all, but Kathy Grieve comes to mind. Um, oh, who else? Uh, Diane Watkins, Gloria Perkins, uh, Thomas Robertson, just, just to name a few. We had Thomas on our very first show. Very, very sweet guy. Yes, and fantastic, fantastic artist. Yeah, for Brantford Presents Take One, we did a gallery tour of the Thomas Robertson Art Gallery. For Take Two, we did um, with Aliki, we did a printmaking demonstration. And then for Take Three, we're going to be doing the live painting with you. And we're going to be doing something really cool, which is auctioning off your painting live at the event. Super cool new um, way that we're incorporating visual art into the event. But uh, you're not keeping the proceeds from this for yourself. You're donating it to a charity. Can you tell us a little bit more about that? Yes, um, I'm donating it to the Brant Community Healthcare System uh, Foundation. Um, I've been a member of the, the group that helped to uh, develop the gala. And we sadly had to cancel our gala. That gala brings in thousands, tens of thousands of dollars to buy equipment for the emergency department. And, uh, you know, with, with COVID now they're, you know, they need uh, equipment, they need PPE, they, um, they need everything we can give them. So whoever wants to bid on the painting, just know that you know, that money is going to the healthcare system. Wonderful, that's wonderful. Barbara, um, if we would like to follow you online, where can we find you? I have a website. It's uh, barbara-sutherland-art.com. Well, very good. Thank you so much for doing this uh, with us today, Barbara. We're very much looking forward to May 22nd uh, and seeing you paint during the show. Uh, and uh, thank you again for taking time today to, to chat with us. Thank you, all of you. It was a pleasure.